Finally, I'm Casey Powers, Eyewitness News Traffic Watch. Yesterday, Senator David Vitter sent a letter to Ken Feinberg, the U.S. Administrator of the Gulf Coast Claims against BP in last year's oil spill, and Lamar McKay, the Chairman and President of the BP America, stating his belief that Mr. Feinberg's position represents a conflict of interest. This morning, Senator Vitter is in with uh, more on that. This is the second letter you've sent on uh, Mr. Feinberg. And, and uh, how strongly do you feel about this? And, and uh, a, a judge has ruled that, that he does not think that uh, uh, Ken Feinberg is, can be called independent. It's clearly not. And there's a huge conflict of interest. I mean, not only is Ken Feinberg being paid by BP $850,000 a month for him and his firm, but what's even more troubling to me, that's up for renegotiation every few months at the same time as Ken Feinberg is deciding the liability of BP. So it's like having two parties in a case before a judge, and not only is one of the parties paying the judge, but that's up for renegotiation, the amount while the judge hears the case and decides the case. That's a screwy system. And in Ken Feinberg's defense, the 850000 they're paying him is not to him, it's to his law firm, and they have hundreds, maybe thousands of people working on this, this BP claim process. Yeah, they don't have thousands. It does not include all the outside contractors. It does not oh, it include does not. the insurance uh, settlers who are in the field. It is just him and his firm. So, so you're saying that that, that that alone would be a conflict of interest, and then his work with BP. Yeah, the fact that he's paid by BP, but even more troubling to me is the fact that there is a negotiation between him and BP. Will he continue to get this huge amount? And that negotiation goes on all the time while he's deciding claims against BP. But did, did, uh, did, did BP select him originally, or did President uh, Obama, or both? I think it was a mutual agreement. And, and now, now, what do you want to see done right now in this? Because in, in all reality, whoever the claims administrator is or, or would be, he or she would be in a, a very untenable position. Well, I made a specific positive suggestion, and that is take it out of the hands of this negotiation between BP and Ken Feinberg. They should decide on a qualified neutral arbitrator. That arbitrator should set his pay at the end of every month, not based on a figure out of thin air, but based on hourly billings by the folks who are actually working the matter. So when, 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 when Ken Feinberg calls himself an independent uh, uh, that's arbitrator. untrue. I mean, that's patently untrue. It's not only me saying it, it's a federal judge in litigation saying it. And, and so, 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 so how can we correct this process now? What's the next step that you want the president to do? Well, I don't want to, uh, you know, disrupt the whole process and stop claims from being processed. So again, I made the specific suggestion that Ken Feinberg and BP pick a qualified neutral arbitrator. That person decide appropriate pay at the end of every month, not based on some just overall figure, but based on hourly billings, based so, on actual work, hours worked, work performed. So right now is your big complaint that that, 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 that the, the BP is paying him too much for, for, for the job he's doing, or that he is being unfair in the claims process, or both? My big complaint is that the system creates bias. If you are designing a system to create bias in favor of BP, it seems like this is exactly what you'd come up with. That's very, very troubling. If this were a pure legal matter, this would be a classic conflict of interest, which would absolutely be prohibited by every lawyer's ethics rule in, in, in the book. Do you think that's why we've seen so many complaints against Feinberg and BP? Uh, it could have something to do with it. I mean, clearly people are disgruntled about how this is working, and clearly this goes to the fundamental root of the question if he is really objective and independent. And you will keep on pressing this till you get an answer? Sure, absolutely. All right, Senator David Vitter, thank you very Thanks. much. Coming up on